<laughs> Welcome back to One Minute Matchups. I'm your host, Mr. Freaky. I'm going to be going through some matchups today that you guys requested. And I'm going to be telling you guys who would win and why I think they would win. So the first one is Norman Bates versus Pamela Voorhees. This is a cool matchup because they're both kind of similar. They're both sort of wolves in sheep's clothing. And I feel like they would be trying to trick each other the whole time. Like, Norman Bates would invite Pamela Voorhees over to maybe cook her a meal. And then she'd be like, oh, you know, let me go ahead and quilt you a quilt. Something weird like that. And then, uh, you know, eventually, before you know it, he's, ha he's hitting her with a pan and she's trying to stab him with the, the quilt needle thing. And, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But one thing I notice is that um, she's kind of like got that motherly look to her. Kind of almost like a, you know, grandmother, if not a mother, at least. And he's got like a fear of his mother. So I think she would have some power over him that way. Because she's definitely a dominant woman. And he's got a fear of dominant women. So yeah, that would be an advantage for her, for sure. Also, personality-wise, I think Mrs. Voorhees is terrifying. She's got that whole 80s curly cut going on. That thing freaks me out, like, a lot. He's crazy, right? So he's actually insane. She's just, like, a bitch. She's just, like, after vengeance. So, you know, she's killing a whole bunch of people that are camp counselors, and they didn't even have anything to do with Jason's death. So she's just, like, you know, offing a bunch of random people. So that makes her just, like, pretty savage. So therefore, I'm gonna go with her probably winning. The next one's gonna be the Daleks from the Doctor Who universe versus the Martians from War of the Worlds. So pretty much the Daleks, if you don't know, are an emotionless master race bent on universal conquest and domination of, you know, the cosmos. They're these like weird little, uh, I can't even describe them. And so like they don't have like a whole lot of peripheral vision, they can't move very fast. They kind of like, they can fly, but it's like a cyborg, like there's a little guy inside. Um, but this is like one of like the main villains in the Doctor Who universe, which I always thought was really funny. They're like kind of stupid. They're kind of shitty. I, I mean, but that's the point. They're st supposed to be funny. So we'll take those and then we'll compare them up against Martians from War of the Worlds who are just absolutely terrifying. They have these giant tripods that are the size of like a little skyscraper with lasers that can just eliminate a city. That's a tough battle to, to win for the Daleks. Although the Daleks, I have seen in a few episodes, they've just like flown into the earth with like thousands of them. So I, I know they do have numbers. They do have power numbers. And you know, they have a little bit of, they, they do have some weaponry and stuff. But uh, I think the Martians would have just much more badass abilities as far as their technology goes. And then also, I was thinking about this too, the Martians, they are coming from basically a dying world. They have nowhere else to go. So they're desperate. They're basically fighting for their lives. They have nothing to lose. The Daleks, they're basically just trying to conquer the universe. So, like, they can, you know, if they get into a uh, confrontation with some race and it's too difficult, they could just, like, leave. They don't need this, you know? But, like, for example, in War of the Worlds, the Martians are here to colonize our planet because they need a planet. So I think that's kind of, that gives them more motivation, at least. So, I'm giving that one to the Martians. Next one's gonna be the Skeggsies from The Dark Crystal versus Trolls from Troll Hunter. So the Skeggsies are these like weird old decrepit bird looking creatures that have rags on and they just kind of like walk around like this and like And they like, they do have like some weird little sword battle one time that was like really slow, you know? Well, it wasn't even a battle. They're like hitting, they try to hit this rock thing and then whoever can split it basically win. So they didn't even like fight with each other. Their fights are like, literally, their fights remind me of like if you were in a nursing home and you saw like a bunch of old men fighting each other. They, th that would be like a Skeggsy battle. So we're having them, we're putting them up against the trolls from Troll Hunter who are like uh, these, they're, they're old men, but they're like spry. They're like, you know, European old men who are like, you know, like they probably like lifted trees their whole lives and stuff, but they're also like, you know, the size of an oak tree or maybe even larger. And um, I, the only way that Skeggsies would even come close to even like killing one of them is if they had the Gartham with them and they sent the Gartham uh, after them. And the Gartham are those like roach things that like, you know, have the claws and everything, but they're still way smaller than a troll. And then the trolls would just be just crushing the crap out of them. It'd be gross. Also, the only way you can really kill a troll is with ultraviolet light. And I don't see the Skeggsies having that. They basically live in medieval times. You know, they don't even, I don't think they even have electricity. They have magic to light shit up. 
It's just not gonna work out for them. I don't think that they would win. Next one, Killer Clowns from Outer Space versus Gremlins. I like this battle a lot, and that's because it would be crazy as hell to see. Uh, just like a bunch of clowns, and then a bunch of uh, these wild little creatures, you know, breaking shit and going to the movie theater, and just flying all over the place. It, it, it would just be total chaos. The advantages of the Killer Clowns is they do have pretty substantial weaponry. Um, you know, they've got stuff that they can basically turn, I guess, the Gremlins into little cotton candies. Which they wouldn't really be like a meal. It'd be like like a little snack, like a little gremlin smack, snack pack. And then they also have those balloon attack dogs, which I always wondered what the powers were on those. You guys can tell me in the comments what you think, because I know they use them, and I guess they're just like basically for you know the dogs can go find whoever they need to. But I, I, like I don't know, can those balloon creatures kill people? That's something that I would like to know. What do you guys think? But gremlins though, their main advantage is how fast they can multiply. These things are like love bugs. So pretty much, I think that they'd probably cover like the entire planet Earth in like a couple weeks time. So yeah, the only way that the Killer Clowns would be able to eliminate the entire Gremlin army would be to basically fill up an area with water and then use their electricity, which they do have, and just shock all of them, kill them all. But the thing is that the Killer Clowns, and I've spoken about this in one of my previous videos, the last Killer Clown matchup, They've got this nose that basically if you hit it too hard, it pops and they die. So like, you know, there's going to be thousands of these gremlins flying everywhere, breaking stuff. They're, they're definitely going to be able to hit that nose at least once and, and kill them. I mean, there's not that many killer clowns. So, yeah, I mean, just in the end, I really don't think that they'd be able to take out the gremlins. Let me know what you guys think on that one because it's kind of, kind of a toss-up for me. Alright, and the last one, Chucky versus Leprechaun. They are both tiny. They both do magic, and they both talk mad shit. Like, before the battle, I would love to see these two just have, like, an epic verbal argument. Because they're both just, like, these, like, little pissed off guys. It would be really hilarious. Chucky's just so dominant, though. He's got, like, the angriest voice in history. And he just makes you want to kind of curl up and die somewhere. Also, he still retains a lot of his serial killer techniques from when he was alive. And at the same time, he can do magic. He does voodoo. So, he basically kind of, he can compete with the leprechaun on that. Because that's basically the Leprechaun's main thing, is his ridiculous magic that he has. So yeah, I think Chucky would take this one for sure. He kicked the Leprechaun right where it hurts, right in the Lucky Charms. So those are our matchups for this week. Sorry I missed a few weeks, guys. I've been moving, I got a new job, all kinds of madness is going on. But there should be a couple of new things coming out in the next week or so. And if you haven't yet, remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you can, check out my Patreon. I got a lot of new cool stuff on there, including shirts. And remember to stay spooky, my friends. Thank you.